Let me now take you to Karnataka because there a creative social media campaign has been put forth by the opposition Congress party in the state but directly charging at Basavraj Bhumai. Take a look closely. This is what the creative minds of the Congress party have done. So after taking a pun on the digital payment website which is the Paytm, changing it to PCM, putting Basavraj Bhumai's face on the QR code, they have now added other BJP leaders posing with this photoshopped PCM image. This is all with regard to allegations of corruption not only against the chief minister but they are saying these payments have been asked and appealed by the ministers of the Karnataka government. The deal is yours, commission is ours is the tagline of this campaign. The Congress has been going after the Bumai government accusing it of taking for example alleging 40% commission for contracts recruitment of assistant professors and junior engineers scam as they are alleging. They are also saying that even the CM position scam is there in this government. But under fire now, the Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai has spoken up. He has called the Congress PCM campaign a conspiracy to malign the state government and tarnish his image specifically. I want you to listen in to what the Karnataka Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai has said claiming PCM is an organized conspiracy to malign his image and that of the state. Ito nodi vandu vyavasthitu vadanta vandu Karnataka Rajya muttu nani asar karsadu maradar vanta shedi antara. Nani samadpattanta adhikari kalige Facebook mada kheli dhe. Tanke maastu yari dhe hindi dhe. Adar rehti vadi itara social media dhali campaign mada vanta dhe. इधर को प्रत्येक इतरा मारे इधर इन्दे ये नो जनक ये नो गोता करते इधर लाए कैंपेन या उतरा निर्देश दे इधर सुडो कैंपेन्स वाला इतनी चीजें अति हैच्चा की तो इसके आउट तो बेले ला अदरे नंकित तो नम्बर ये नंद्रे राज्य दे हैसर कर सोन तो प्रयत्न मारता इधरे अधिक इन कड़वा न हाथ पे कौन से तिर in today's morning telecast, I'm joined by Sagai Raj for the latest. Sagai, so this has been a creative campaign, but the government has now finally spoken up saying this is a deliberate conspiracy. So what are the allegations in the PCM campaign against the government of an election-bound state? And what precisely is the politics unfolding on it? So if you see the entire campaign, hmm. they have started the QR code and they have put out a poster with Chief Minister's uh, uh, photo along with the QR code. And if you scan that QR code, QR code, it redirects you to the uh, 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 website which has been launched by Congress where it shows the rate card and corruption charges against the uh, uh, Bombay government. And subsequently today also they had released a series of uh, photos and campaigns where they have put out the rate cards of every single minister and every single allegations made by the Congress on the minister and how much they charge whenever there is a, a contract which has been awarded to the contractors. So this is the campaign which has been started by them. And they have, the BJP government have already arrested few people, especially Congress workers who were connected with this particular campaign. Even DK Shukumar had visited uh, uh, the high ground police station where all this uh, Congress workers are uh, kept under detention and they went on to say that uh, they will try to do a campaign even today. They will put on the posters in front of the MLA's uh, residence. Uh, so we need to wait and watch how it is going to turn around. On the other side, BJP has also launched a, a campaign against Sidramaya and DK Shukumar okay. uh, showing the uh, kind of corruption which has happened during Sidramaya period as well as the uh, differences between uh, Sidramaya and DK Shukumar. But, uh, uh, well, we need to wait and watch how much it is going to reach uh, reach amongst the people uh, this campaign which has been started by BJP. But as of now, also, the Sir Congress Dai, you know, then my question would be: It is an election-bound state. Of course, these sort of charges, counterclaims are going to come forth. But what about the ground base? Because the Congress, while indulging in the social media campaign, has its own infighting between Siddharamaya and DK Shiv Kumar. So it may look united as an opposition party, but there's also a bigger infighting within the opposition parties. How is that unfolding on the ground while they put forth a united campaign against Basavaraj Bhumai? Absolutely. That will have a major impact on Congress when they go on the field. But this is not something new for Congress or BJP in the state of Karnataka. There has been a history that we have seen even in the past, whether it is Anand Kumar or whether it is B.S. Edirapa or when it comes to Congress, whether it is B.K. Shukumar or Malika Karge or Malika Karge and Sindharamaya. Hmm. There is always a dual hmm. uh, a competition within the party which has been existing for a long time. But whenever it comes, whenever the parties come to power, uh, there is a compromise formula which has been worked out between these leaders. So this is not something new when it comes to 
the infighting within the parties, but uh, how far uh, this time it will go? Because uh, D.K. Shukumar has already put his foot and uh, he has made it clear that it is uh, AICC which will take a decision. On the other side, uh, Sidra may are sticking around with the old formula of uh, taking the legislator's opinion after the, the election. So this is a this is a thing which has been followed in the Karnataka. The campaign that's come Congress. on corruption creative, but the point is how much of it will actually result to benefit the Congress party at all in terms of ground cadre and vote support. Thank you so much, Sagai Raj, for the latest on that.